Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I am going to be doing the November Facebook member share Bolo video right now. I have about 30, 35 Bolos coming your way. Big money, unexpected Bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully source low and sell high. Um, I am going to be looking at my computer to read off what um, each person wrote in the Facebook group. And then I'm going to pop up screen shares of the sold items. So this is hopefully going to tell help everybody learn items to source for. Um, the first one I'm going to start with is mine. And I picked this up at a garage sale for $10. And it sold pretty quickly. I ran it on an auction just kind of to fill out the market. It did not see it sell on auction, but when I listed it at a buy it now, it sold pretty quickly for $157.50. It is this vintage ceramic Christmas tree. Um, this one is by Cordy. Um, it is a harder to find tree. I only found one sold when I was looking up comps, so I knew to price it on the higher end of things. All right, the next item is, let me try to make this bigger so I'm not squinting. It says, snagged this toilet seat, a toilet seat for $12.99 from an antique shop. It was only listed for a few days, sold for $99.99 plus shipping. And it is um, a fishing lure toilet seat, you guys. How funny is that? Um, I mean, check it out. What do you guys think? says man cave in the title. You got to love that. Um, I got this at the Goodwill for $25. That's way more than I usually pay for anything from a thrift store. I took a best offer of $300 and the buyer paid shipping. It is a rabbit air minus a two spa dash 700 a HEPA air purifier pet allergy, but it says starry night. So it's got this little starry detail, which is very, very cool. Um, I think I would have paid $25 and flipped it for $300. That, that looks like a good flip. I picked this up. Um, my first lot of Yogio, is that how you it? say it? Yogio, 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 I think it is, cards at a garage sale while visiting my mom for $5. And this comes from Mindful Recycle. Definitely go check out her YouTube channel. She is amazing. She is also a moderator of this group and a Bolo Buddies member. Um, I put this one on auction and had lots of watchers with one bidder, paid less than 50 cents and sold it for $199, you guys. Um, already got feedback from the buyer. So I don't know if you guys know a lot about cards, I do not, but she said that there is a app that you can download um, and I'm gonna pop up what it looks like. Um, I've never used it have no idea how it works, but I do trust Terry from Mindful Recycle. So um, it looks like it's called TCG Player. So I'll pop up a screen share so you guys know what to look for. But it, she said, download this app and you can scan your cards to see what they are worth. Now, if I knew that there was a place I could scan my cards, I might consider picking these up at garage sales because I had no idea whether there was an app for that. I don't know if it costs money or if it's free or what. So um it says, make sure you lay each card down on a white background. Okay, so that's her tip. All right, this next one says, I paid $4 at my local thrift store, just grabbed it without looking it up because they were about to close. It sold for full asking price in one day. And they said, I think I may have underpriced it. Um, it sold for $149.99. It is a Fon oh, Fontanini, I think is how you say it. It's right here. <laughs> Um, Italy wedding at Canna set, Jesus bride and groom canopy set mint condition. So yeah, I know some of that made in Italy stuff can be big bucks, but, um, four bucks into 150, you got to take those margins. Um, let's see. Sold for one of my consignment client clients. I had it listed for $589 and took a best offer. It sold within two days of listing for $470, you guys. It is a Yadro, which is spelled L-L-A-D-R-O. Okay, so um, it does not look like it sounds. 
Yadro, I believe is how you pronounce it. And their horse is galloping. It's vintage, glossy, retired, mint with no box. I would not want to ship that. Ah! Okay. Um, somebody asked what makes it so valuable. And I... One thing that makes it super valuable is the brand. That is highly collectible. Um, somebody said, how did you pack and ship this? That's what I was wondering. And it said, had it professionally packed. I want wanted no part of packing this and shipping it from Florida to Washington. I totally agree. That would be so scary. Okay, paid $1 at a local Habitat for Humanity store. Sold in five days for full asking price of $149.95 plus shipping. Sold GSP, which is Global Shipping Program, through eBay to Great Britain. And it sold for, oh, you guys, it's Madagascar VHS 2005 DreamWorks, and it's still sealed. So again, you guys, we have a vintage VHS um, selling for $150. So they are selling, you guys. Uh, let's see. So somebody asked, why is this so desirable? And he said, one, because it's sealed. Two, it was right at the VHS to DVD transition and not as many VHS were made. So it's a harder to find item. Um, so you guys, as I'm going through here, I'm reading off to you guys what they wrote in their original comment. But if there are questions and I feel like the information is would help us learn, I'm gonna go ahead and read that off. So let me know what you guys think about this format. If you have any uh, comments, concerns, questions, or things that you think would make the video better, feel free to put those down in the comment section. Okay, bought three of these rugs for $2 each about a year ago. Finally sold the first one last night and the buyer has paid, oh my goodness, $450.98. That was definitely worth the wait. It is a Judy Bossison, ba boy son. B-O-I-S-S-O-N. I want you guys to know how to spell it so you can find it. Oh, I just sold something. I sold a Tory Burch leather bracelet. Super exciting. I saw it pop up on my phone as I'm doing the video. Um, okay, so it's a Showscape Two Stars area rug, and this is what it looks like. $450. That is crazy. Um, she said her mom actually grabbed them for her. Thank goodness, because I walked past them without a second thought. I would have walked past them without a second thought, too. Can you believe that sold for $450? That is amazing. Um, check it out. I just found one on Facebook for $5. Recognize the look from your post. Thanks for the share. I'm going to pop up what she found on Facebook Marketplace. So I'm wondering if she actually bought it. So... Um, I don't know if this is actually the item or not. You guys let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, all right. Picked up for a quarter at a yard sale in the spring. I hung on to him and finally listed him last week. You guys, it's a vintage 1988 plush turkey. So during each like Thanksgiving and Christmas and Halloween, plush that go with that holiday will sell. This is a turkey. So a turkey goes with the Thanksgiving holiday. And it's a plush, and it sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Now, is that huge money? No, but you guys, it was a quarter into 30 bucks. Boom, I would take that all day long. So that is a great bread and butter bolo. I got this at an auction. I paid up for it, $35. It went on a seven-day auction right away, starting at $200. $237.50 was the final price. The buyer also bought a Royal Dalton whiskey decanter from me for $115. So this is a Royal Dalton limited edition Abraham Lincoln jug. Looks like it's a jug. This is what it looks like. $237.50, you guys, plus shipping. So the next one says, my mom found them in her attic and gave them to me. Sold for $80 plus 15 shipping within a week. It was through a global shipping program, so they paid more shipping on top of that. So you guys, these are a vintage pair of blue leather ice skates with the gray fur trim, which you gotta love. Uh, Canada still steel winter cabin decor. So they're selling it as it could be like um, a, a decor item and not something that you would wear, which is interesting. The next one says, I got this vintage glass Santa clip, clip on ornament in a box. 
um, of Christmas items at a garage sale. The whole box was $2. I would say this cost me 10 cents. I was just going to throw it away because the paint is so chippy and the chip clip is broken. I disclosed the condition issues and sold for my full asking cost in two days. The buyer gave feedback saying they love it. You never know what people will buy. So this is more of an unexpected bolo because number one, the paint was chippy and the clip was broke. You guys, I sell defective broken items all the time. People will still buy them. Um, this sold for $15 plus shipping. Is it big money? No, but if you've done the research and already looked the item up, you might as well just list it with the defects and see what'll happen. The next item says I bought it at a local thrift store for uh, less than $3 and it sold for $300 on best offer. Oh my goodness. Look at this little Santa. It is a Holt Howard. Holt Howard is a collectible Christmas brand. Definitely look it up. Um, I do have some Christmas, um, what is it called? Bolo category videos that I have done in the past. Definitely check those out. I do believe I've talked about Holt Howard in the past. And this jar sold, it's a three-piece jar and it sold for $300 and it is considered mid-century modern. Let's see, I got this Santa Travis Matthews Golf uh, Santa Ugly Christmas Sweater. I guess Travis Matthews is maybe the brand. I got in a home clean out, so technically free. I just had to get all of the clothing out of the home. After a few lowball offer, offers, this was a full price sale of 55 from a guest account. So this sold on Poshmark. Um, you guys, if you're not selling on Poshmark, I love Poshmark. I love Mercari, I love eBay. eBay is my number one, will always be my number one, but definitely those extra sales that come in from other plant platforms are fantastic. Um, Vintage puzzle purchased with a lot of other puzzles and paid less than 10 cents for it. I was doing well selling puzzles during lockdown and you guys puzzles were big money during lockdown. Everybody was buying puzzles um, and enjoy putting them together too. look this one up and on a whim and found a few solds in the $70 range listed at 50 and took a best offer of 40 posted for eight months on Facebook marketplace. So it looks like it sold for $40. Picture of the box. So it looks like the brand is Giant. Oh, no, wait. I'm sorry. Hold on. Yeah, Giant is the brand. Two-sided poster puzzle. Vintage 80s complete. So my thing with puzzles is if they're not sealed, I'm not picking them up because I'm not putting them together. I don't have time for all that. But some people love putting together puzzles. So if you love putting together puzzles and you find a valuable one that's a thousand pieces and you want to put it together, oh, I guess you can do that. All right. The next one is, says paid $5 for this wall tapestry at a church resale shop and it sold for $85. It is a vintage wall tapestry, Spanish bullfighter, and it's 71 by 48 inches. And I'm not sure what platform that sold on, but um, it's what it looks like. Pretty cool, right? bought this desktop server for five dollars at the Benz Galore in Georgia. Benz Galore must be like a um, Amazon type where they do bins. I don't know. I could be wrong. Sold on Mercari after brief negotiations. I was asking 115. Um, the buyer paid eight. So it looks like it ended up selling for $107 on Mercari. Like I said, you guys, Mercari is awesome also. I do have a video that shows you how to list on Mercari. If you're not, definitely check it out. Um, what I do is I start my items on eBay and then I cross post them with List Perfectly to Mercari and Poshmark, sometimes Facebook Marketplace, Etsy and Grailed, but my main three platforms are eBay, Poshmark and Mercari. And um, they all have their pros and cons for sure. Um, but if you want to check out List Perfectly, there is a demo video down in the description. And if you use coupon code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word, you can get 30% off your first month. I love List Perfectly. I'm going to leave it there. You guys can check out the video. All right. My husband found this vintage Raiders hat at a yard sale. He paid 25 cents for it. It sold on auction originally for $455, but that was from a troll account. Womp womp. Um, I relisted it and took an offer of 350 which is still fantastic. So it is a vintage Los Angeles Raiders hats. Um, it's a snapback and it needs restored and still sold for $350. So that is fantastic. Found at the bins, paid pennies for it. You guys, it is a vintage 1987 Avon Christmas countdown advent calendar. 
I have one of these listed and mine has not sold yet. Um, I want to say I got an offer. No, I'm sorry. It did sell. It did sell. Uh, oh my goodness. Where is my brain? Um, mine did sell. I'm trying to think of what it sold for. Um, I was going to look at my phone, but my phone is filming this, so I can't look. Um, they sold theirs for $199.97. Mine did not sell for that much. I think it was close, but um, I was really happy with it. I got mine at a garage sale for like a buck or two, and it was like one of those things that I've been wanting to find because I used to sell Avon when I was younger. So I'm like, I want to find one of those Avon calendars. And uh, yeah, Avon calendars, the advent calendars, you guys, definitely a big money bolo. All right, found these at a thrift store and took a chance at a dollar each. Sold for 38 plus buyer paid shipping to Alaska. This is the second set of these graphic audiobooks that have sold to the same buyer. Graphic audiobooks, Destroyer 110 through 114. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that's like the title or what, but um, I don't know, dollar each. So five bucks into it, sold it for 38. Anybody know what that is? But audio audiobooks is actually one of the first things that I ever sold on eBay. I wasn't planning on becoming a reseller and I had some audiobooks that I would listen to when I drove long distance. And um, I was like, I just want to sell these so I can buy more. And I put them on eBay. <laughs> That's how I started on eBay. Isn't that crazy? Was not planning on being a reseller, but it's addicting, guys. I love it. Okay, paid a dollar. And that was back in 2005. So been doing this for a long time. Quit my full-time job to do this full-time. So you guys, if you're not selling full-time, it is possible, but don't do it too quickly. Make sure that you get everything in order before you quit your job. Okay, paid a dollar for this Raggedy Ann blow mold, sold for $68. Oh my goodness, so cute. Um, Bob's Merrill Yard Decor 1973 Raggedy Ann. Check it out, so cute. I've never seen a Raggedy Ann blow mold. Paid $5 at a local estate sale. Love the new old stock stuff. This is a vintage 1996 Art Deco brass trine 8x2 note Westminster door electronic. Oh, I'm sorry, electric chime. I still don't know what it is. Um, is it a like a if you ring the doorbell, is it like a chime? I don't know. This is what it looks like. Do you guys know? All right, got this cowboy print at the Goodwill for $5. Can't remember what I originally had it listed for, but happy with what it sold for. It looks like it sold for $94.50. It is Bill Hampton cowboy. Uh, it looks like a print maybe? I don't know. Yeah, it's a print, a cowboy print. Paid five bucks for it. Okay, bought this slag glass lamp for $20 with a $20 gift card, so free. Uh, purchased at a Goodwill in Ashton Town, Ohio. You can get Goodwill gift cards? Hmm, I didn't know that. Sold within 24 hours for full asking price of $350 to someone three states away in the city I was born in. That's fun. Vintage Gothic Victorian Slag Glass Panel Mission Arts. And then I can't read the rest because it's cut off. But talk about a fantastic title. $350, free shipping. $5 Goodwill find. It is a, oh my goodness, um, Hizashi Otsuka. Uh, I don't know. I'm guessing that's another language. And it says, when spirits unite, signed LTD edition, silk screen, vintage Japan. Sold for $325. You guys, they got it at the Goodwill for $5. There is hope. There is still hope for finding things at the Goodwill. Can you believe it? Five into $325. That is awesome. Found at Savers for $4 minus 20% discount, of course. Uh, purchased by a repeat customer, hence the discount. Okay, what is it here? Um, Northwest Coast Native American Tribal Drum. Signed, Clarence A. Wells. Looks like it sold for $195. I'm trying to figure out where they sold this because then it says discount $39, shipping and then sales tax. I don't know where that sold at. Huh. But either way, 
four bucks into 195. Okay, I bought a jewelry, oh, you guys are gonna love this. This is disgusting. <laughs> okay, number one, would you have bought it? Let me know in the comments. I bought a jewelry box for $5. I didn't look through it until I got home and was grossed out to find teeth. <gasps> Yuck, posted about it on Facebook and a fellow antique dealer friend said to post it on Facebook oddities page. I sold them for $30, including shipping. The gal that bought them makes jewelry and art with them and was so excited. Ugh. Ugh. Look at the pointy ones. Oh, my goodness. Oh, goodness me. Somebody wrote, dang, I threw my wisdom teeth out and I found that I found when I was packing to move. <laughs> oh, that is so funny. Okay, the next one says, pick this up at my local reuse store. It was not on the mark up rack, so I paid $4. Rough shape inside, accepted $400 offer. What did she say she paid for it? Paid four bucks. Oh my goodness. It's a Rudy, uh, G-E-R-N-R-E-I-C-H, Jernrich, I don't know, Angie Coat Wool Silk Plaid. What on earth? Yeah, somebody put, they'll probably have to pay to have it relined. Um, I, I don't know, but that is crazy. I don't know that brand. Do you guys know that brand? Okay, bought at Savers for $5. Sold on a store sale for $98. It is an art glass studio vase, orange spiral, 60s, 70s, retro, hand blown. Um, so it's a vase, you guys. It's beautiful. Um, Carol has actually been finding some amazing um, art glass pieces at her thrift store. Um, she is Butterfly Hustles on YouTube. Definitely go check her out. She is a Bolo Buddies member, so I'm going to feature her uh, YouTube channel right here. So you guys go check her out. It will... Um, I don't think I link them down below. No, not in this video. But I do have a featured members video where I actually feature bolos from all my featured members. If you guys haven't checked that out, here is the most recent one. Definitely go check it out. And all of their stores and all of their YouTube channels are linked below. But just go to YouTube and type in Butterfly Hustles. She will pop right up and she is a bolo finder. So you will like her content. The next one comes from Nikki Love Snacks, who is also a featured member. Um, she has a YouTube channel called Nikki Love Snacks, and she found these cute little 1950s vintage kittens made in Japan, spaghetti, and um, spaghetti is referencing like the uh, how they look. Sugar, salt, textured, great condition, made in Japan. I have a made in Japan bolo category video. Go check that out. There might be something in there about this. But um, she sold this for $45 and she picked it up for $2.99 at a charity shop and definitely check out her YouTube channel. Major Bolo, never found a single Cutco knife, only learned about them five years ago. Found these three days ago, sold it in one, paid 10, then found two single knives in another set today. When it rains, it pours. Now that is a good rain. Um, they sold this Cutco set you guys it's a 17 piece set for 750 dollars and they paid 10 oh i love it i love it i love it thank you guys so much for sharing like these bolos like things like this it just makes my day they're fantastic okay the next item comes from it says i received this book for free with another one that I bought for a dollar at an estate sale, along with five more books from the same time period. Listing more this week. I threw up a pretty high price and it sold within two days. $80 for a book that is less than two ounces. It says induction. Um, I can't, is it coil or cods or coils? It's kind of blurry, guys. Kurt Stoyle. Uh, something trade school. So it's a trade school book and it says rare 1906. 80 bucks, 80 bucks. All right, you guys, I think there's like 30 or 32 something in this video. There are another 30, 35. I'm going to do another video right after this that will air on this channel in the near future. So if you're Bolo 
was not in this video and you shared in the Facebook group, definitely um, hit that bell that will alert you when I post new videos and watch for the thumbnail. It'll have the little screenshot of the November post. And you guys, I am going to get up the December post. So if you guys want to be a part of this video um, and have your bolo featured, you can go over to my Facebook members. Um, I'm sorry, my Facebook bolo buddies group and go to the announcements section and you will find um, a post for your best December bolo. And then there's also still a toy bolo thread up. I'm just going to leave that one up and you guys can keep adding to it each month because I love toys and I would like to maybe keep that one going. If it loses too much traction, maybe I'll start a new thread. I don't know. But uh, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for watching. If you are a member of my YouTube channel, a Bolo Buddies member, and how you become a member is you hit the join button that's kind of down by subscribe. If you hit that join button and you sign up for level two, that will get you in the featured members video. So you can check that out if you're interested. If not, no worries. That's just for perks so that you get a shout out. Um, not required by any means. Uh, you are more than welcome to go to the Facebook group and share. And thank you guys for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you don't see that join button, sometimes it doesn't show up on your phone. I do have a link down in the description of the video. All right, you guys, let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything. Let me know in the comments and put a emoji of glasses down in the comment section or just put glasses if you can't find an emoji. All right. Thanks for watching.